So I would say this is an empirical book in many ways. It's also a philosophical book, which I think the world needs. But I bet you weren't planning to write an economics book when you wrote it. But it, it involves scarcity. It involves trade-offs and choice within the context of scarcity. And it talks a lot about externalities, including positive externalities, which we sometimes forget about. So did you have in mind at all that this would be an economics book? Well, you mentioned I used to work the, at the Ayn Rand Institute. So I have a, a philosophy background and an objectivist philosophy background. And so, in, you know, from that perspective, morality is like the fundamental science of human action. And so I think of economics as really related very closely to morality. So I don't think you can have a discussion about the morality of fossil fuels if, if you have a human life-based morality that doesn't think about economics. So in a sense, I mean, you could argue it's mostly an economic book in the sense of what is the content, right? Because the content is like what's involved in producing and trading energy and then what are all of the implications for that in, uh, in terms of human life. And most of those implications you can measure in money. Although, as, as you mentioned with externalities, sometimes I think people abuse money and measurement to ignore the benefits of fossil fuels. 